Hi, welcome to FTP Warm Up. In this video series, I want to share with you step by step from A to Z on how to transfer files from your PC to your website hosting account and then getting your website up and running and live. Now, first thing I want to do in this specific video, video number one, which is warming up to FTP, is I want to give you a quick overview of the whole video series as a whole. That way you know what to expect, there's no surprises, and I know that you won't be overwhelmed if you know what to expect and how all this whole video series works together as a whole. There's 11 videos in this general video course, and this of course is video number one. And video number two, we'll talk about what you need to have beforehand. Basically, before you connect to your web hosting account through FTP, and before you upload files, you're going to need three things. We'll talk about those three things. I'll make sure that you understand what those three things are. And in video number three, we're going to talk about getting your website set up for file transfer. Basically, getting those three things and actually using those three things. So what I've done with this video series is split the whole course up into bite-sized chunks. That way you're not overwhelmed and you know step by step what to do. I can say this from now, all you have to do from starting with video number two is follow my mouse step by step. Follow everything I do and everything will be very easy. Video number four is accessing your login information. Obviously before you log into your FTP account, you're going to need to have your login information. Video number five, we're going to talk about saving and organizing your account information in FileZilla. FileZilla is an FTP software that we're going to be using. It's free, so don't worry, you're not going to have to take out that wallet. It's free and, you know, there's several things you need to do within FileZilla just to make your life easier. And it's not required, but years and years of using FileZilla and FTP accounts and FTP programs, I've learned a few things that will save you time in the long run. Video number six, we're going to talk about connecting your FTP account in FileZilla. This is the exciting part because you can see everything fall in place. Once you hit, once you hit video number four, then everything just gets easier and easier after that. That's not to say the stuff before that is harder, but it just, Everything is easy and it just gets easier and easier. Once you've connected to your FTP account and you know, your web hosting with FileZilla, in video number seven, we're going to talk about where do you upload files. Now, when you log into your FTP account, you're going to see a lot of folders and a lot of files. So which folder are you supposed to upload files to? Now, this can vary from web hosting company to web hosting company, but we'll make sure that we cover that in video number seven. That's just in case if you encounter any problems during this process, I want to make sure that all of your problems and your questions are answered. Video number eight, we're going to talk about uploading to the FileZilla manager. And basically, not just uploading, but how to look around the FileZilla manager, how to use it correctly to your advantage, that way you don't get lost. Video number nine, we're going to talk about how to delete, how to copy, how to move files, create a folder, and much, much more. Basically, the little tasks that you can do within the FileZilla manager to make your life easier. Video number 10, we're going to talk about live website rules 101. Basically, how to make sure your pages appear live, how to make sure that the pages are correctly showing and things like that. Now, obviously after video number nine, you're set, but in video number 10, I want to make sure I cover the basics so that you understand anything. And if you have problems and you encounter problems, you have questions, I want to make sure that I answer those questions. And of course the last video, video number 11 is to transfer files without an FTP server. Let's say, for example, that you're traveling or you're at Starbucks and you just don't have access to the FTP software. Well, yes, you could download the FTP software. However, that's not always ideal. So in this case, I want to make sure that we cover the ground of using the FTP software. But at the same time, if you don't have the FTP software, you know, how do you connect 
to your website. I'll show you that to you in video number 11. Now let's get back to video number one, which is warming up to FTP. And let me talk to you about what is FTP and how is, does it work? Well, FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. It's basically a technical way of saying transferring files from one place to another. Now, I thought about this and I thought about how can I make this easy for you to understand if you don't really understand how it works. Well, it's sort of like a telephone. You see, to make a one-way call, you need two telephones, right? Obviously, you can make many, many calls, but we're just talking about a one-way call. You're going to need two telephones. So you're going to have telephone A and you're going to have telephone B. You also need their phone number. So let's say, for example, telephone A is calling telephone B. Telephone A dials telephone B's number into telephone A. At that point, it connects to telephone B. Same thing with FTP. You're going to have a computer from a computer uploading files to a server or downloading files from a server to a PC or from a server to a server, basically a computer machine to a computer machine. So let's say, for example, that you have a computer and a server. The server is the web hosting company. In this case, you're going to need that phone number or address to dial in that address. In this case, you're going to need your FTP account, ftp.yourdomain.com, your username and password. Once you've entered that in, click connect, it'll connect. And then from that point, you can talk. Basically, talking consists of transferring files and so forth. So that's really how it works. And it's just simple as that. Now that you understand the concepts, let's move on to video number two and I'll show you what you need beforehand. And not only that, I'll show you where to get it, how to get it, and how to go about installing the software and getting everything set up.